Tonight, political tensions between the United States and Venezuela escalating once again over concerns that the South American country won't hold free elections. The U.S. taking measures against Venezuela after its highest court blocked the presidential candidacy of opposition frontrunner Maria Corina Machado on Friday. Esto se llama delincuencia judicial. Esto es lo que ha ocurrido. Machado is a former legislator and has been a leader within the opposition for over a decade. She's been the target of the Maduro regime, with sanctions barring her from holding office for 15 years, a tactic used in the past by the Venezuelan government to shut down opponents. The Biden administration now reimposing sanctions on Venezuela after they say the country walked back on a deal the country's leader, Nicolás Maduro, made with the U.S. to hold free elections this year, allowing opposition candidates to run for office. The Maduro regime, when they signed, in, uh, uh, signed on in October down in Barbados, made some commitments about opposition political parties, about free and fair elections and what all that meant. Um, and they haven't taken those actions. On Monday, the U.S. announcing it will end a plan offering relief to Venezuela's oil and gas sector in April and is revoking a license authorizing transactions with the country's state-owned gold mining company. What does it mean for Venezuela to take the risk of, of essentially violating the agreement that they have made? I think it's a really tough position in which if they allow for free and fair election, uh, they stand a really good chance of losing. Um, if they don't, and the reassertion of sanctions could continue to spell trouble for the economic woes of the country, you know, well into 2024 and beyond. The pressure now on Venezuela's Supreme Court, which is dominated by Maduro's loyalists and would ultimately need to lift the ban on Machado, who is vowing to stay in the race. Yo represento esa soberanía popular. No pueden hacer elecciones sin mí y sin los millones de venezolanos que votaron ese día. Machado winning the U.S. backed primary with more than 90% of the vote and insisting she can become president if free and fair elections are held. Guad joins us tonight from the Telemundo Center in Miami. So, Guad, how is Venezuela responding to these actions by the U.S.? Tom, the Venezuelan government has released a statement that says a few things. Among them, they're accusing the United States of blackmailing the Venezuelan government, also of attempting to interfere with their internal affairs and also destabilize their economy. But they are not mentioning that deal that the U.S. says they have broken. Uh, we're also hearing from leaders in South America, the president of Ecuador, saying that Ecuador will not recognize the results of these elections if they are not free and fair. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.